Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. This is another installment of the Living Room Lighting Diaries. So this first look has one light here, and it's the uh, AD400 Pro. It always sounds like I'm saying 8400 Pro rather than AD400 Pro. It's a weird naming system, but it's the 8400 Pro going into a Palsy Buff PLM umbrella. This umbrella has a silver reflective inside, which you can't see because I have this sock over it, and that's the white diffuser that you're looking at. What that does, like its name says, it diffuses the light. So I have this pointed kind of in front of the model. That way the light is just feathering across the model, and I'm not getting any really specular highlights or anything like that. It's just very soft light. And then I have my trusty V-flat, and that's just bouncing light back up on the model, providing some fill light. All right, then to change it up for this second look, if you will, it's really the same outfit, but just kind of a different lighting style. What I've done is taken the sock off of the PLM umbrella because I want to give the light or the look just a little bit more of a contrasted look. Still want to keep kind of a soft light by keeping the large light modifier, but uh, the silver reflector on the inside will create a little bit more shadows under the chin, kind of define the cheekbones, just kind of give an overall more contrasted look to the light. And then off to the side, I've added an AD200 Pro, and that's shining through a strip box that has a yellow gel, just to give it a little bit of variation to kind of change things up a little bit. For this last look, we really wanted to just kind of play around with gels and uh, just play around with light in general. So I have these large acrylic sheets and this one is a nice magenta color and I thought that would look kind of cool with the magenta gel we have and then the teal gel. So I have that in front that's kind of just creating an overall colored look and then I can also spray that with water. And with lighting water, you want to light it from the back. And that's why I have these two strip boxes behind the water facing toward the camera. And the one on camera right has a magenta gel. So it's kind of just doubling the magenta effect on her. And then the one on camera left has a cyan or a cool color gel. And that's just providing a little bit of contrast in lighting. And then I'm really just kind of playing around. I brought in another 8200 Pro above and uh, I wanted to get more light on her face and kind of coming from above. And this is a clean white light. And I'm playing around with a few different modifiers. I did a few looks with the umbrella for more of a softer look. And then I took the umbrella off and just did the Fresnel head for a little bit more of a directed light, harder light look. All right, you guys, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, hopefully it was entertaining. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.